All right, my super fam. Oh my God, just gone out of a shower, but I just have to jump straight on to the video because my oh my, look at this. I actually kind of forgot that today was kind of like a teasing, dripping day for a new character because yes, Geo Rebound has also just been dropped too. But Alec Chino is finally confirmed and I'm pretty sure everyone in the Genshin community is absolutely loving it so there are a lot to talk about and i just want to dive straight into the video talking about some of the most important part you guys want to look into before you actually make the decision on this banner it's gonna be a fun ride and oh by the way don't mind my glacier being on the back here she just wanted to join the video so yeah there's that too okay first let's look into chiori and ito's banner now um especially for chiori and ito i've already you know discussed it in this video here which i'm going to be linking on the screen right here now um to talk a little bit once again about chiori and ito i won't be touching too much in depth into them but overall chiori technically once again kind of like an albedo character you know like an upgraded version of him obviously we don't get to test them yet but from my guess is that chiori will be able to provide more than albedo in terms of damage output as well as you know having that really good looking designs which of course if you're already into chiori most likely you're going to be pulling for her anyway but overall i think that most of us are going to be skipping on her seriously speaking in terms of primo gem saving so that you can pull for you know patch 4.6 where alecchino is gonna come but overall if you're still into you know kind of like geo mono geo meta at this point in time this kind of like the basically the only perfect time you're probably gonna get because chiori and ito is like right next to each other and ito would love to have chiori on the team as well as you know goro and junjin is here now i think we make kind of like a pretty good prediction on our previous video which you know i kind of predict that goro and junjin has a very high chance of appearing and yes they did decide to make kind of like you know a triple geo on a banner here and that's really really good because especially for goro obviously he has to be next to Ito otherwise he has nowhere to be perfect time for you to try and get as good of a Geo team as you can if you really is in love with the Geo meta you know unlike Navia who she doesn't really care running alongside with some of the best Geo support because you know Navia even though Geo kind of like an outlier of that kind of an element already so this is the best time for a dedicated Geo kind of play style for your account if you really are in love with it now junjin we don't really use her too much with ito i suppose but still a very good character if you do get her because the constellation is really really good as i mentioned and yes you know if you are interested in kind of like a dps jury then i guess you can have junjin on her team too and that can work out well depending on your situation right but other than dory who you know is kind of like one of the worst character we have in the game other than that it is going to be a pretty good pool if you're someone who's really on the preference of pooling on this specific banner even though i know that many of us may be skipping on it but i do consider this to be a win-win situation for those of you who are going to be pooling on this banner and do wish you good luck on that too now onto the weapon banner obviously it's only going to be the thing you pull on if you decide to pull for either chiori or ito i can't think of any other situation where in which you would want to pull on this banner otherwise while in terms of chiori sword its design is literally a mist splitter in a geo form come on hold your verse you're already making chiori into a geo coaching and you also have her sword kind of like a mist splitter for her too however overall it does have very good stats in terms of giving you up to 88 percent crit damage 542 base attack normal attack as well as e skill damage increase so the thing is with this is that if you do happen to have this sword you can use it on many of the character because most of them do use normal attack and e skill damage so you can have many of those kind of benefits but the only downside to this sword is the second part of this passive which is kind of like you have to have a geo character on your team to make the most out of this sword passive so if you want to use the maximum potential it does kind of limit you quite a bit which is why it is a sword made for jewelry now in terms of the redstone thresher it's already been out for so long now overall this claymore is actually pretty good not that bad because once again kind of like the um jewelry sword what's its name again the misugiri sword um it can be used on most of the dps 
play more characters as well because there's are very high crit damage and yes you can make many of the use out of the passive as well so overall these two weapons aren't really that bad but yeah i still don't recommend you to pull for it unless you are pulling for jury and ito rather than that yep save your primo gems the four star weapons are okay too not that great you can make some use of these four weapons the only downside is that you're probably gonna get some of these bells so yes that's gonna be your decision to pull if you are gonna go for the weapon banner do keep in mind that it's always recommended to try and have at least three pity before you actually go ahead and pull on the banner especially if you are kind of like a free to play player for a guaranteed weapon of your choice up next we have the very first critical wish to ever come into the game now i haven't really made a specific video talking about this but i will assume that you already know what this and how this banner actually works so i'll just give you a straight up you know opinion of what i think of this banner is that first of all i do think that this is a very cool way to add something new to the game at the very least right because like we haven't really got something new in terms of banner update in a very long time so how you verse making an effort to actually add something new well i appreciate it and it does actually give you guys you know new chance of getting for the character that you haven't got or the specific weapon of your choice that you really really like so in terms of those cases that can be good however in terms of you know the value of the specific character and the weapon that are on the chronicle wish this time around i mean i have to say that it's actually trash now to put it up front and honest the only character that's good on this banner is going to be you choosing jean because while jean is still a very valuable character and i still use her many many of the time because she is a perfect character to run alongside with a Farina team right um most of us do have Farina nowadays if you don't have it already Farina may be coming back pretty soon and if you are going to be using Farina you would love Jean to be on the count C0 Jean is basically enough guys you don't really need constellation for a Jean well if you do have a C2 or you know a C4 other than that uh it's a pretty good Jean already you don't really need um, C2 Klee, I would say, is pretty good if you do have her. However, it's kind of like a little bit limited in terms of using for a C2 Klee. So uh, I, once again, would really recommend you to just go ahead and save your pools. Otherwise, yes, most of this character, preference-wise, you know, your choice to pull. In terms of weapons, guys, God, like all of these are basically not that worth it, apart from the beacon. But yes, the sword does give you pretty decent crit rate, really high base attack, and overall, you can make use of the, you know, passive really well, but, well, guys, you're probably not going to be spending your intertwined fate just to try and get this weapon, right? Like, come on, you you, you wouldn't do that, and you, you basically have a chance to actually lose to some of the worst weapon type in the game, actually. I like yes some of these weapons you know in different situations you can make use of it Wolf Red Stone still one of the best DPS claymore out there but unless you you know literally try and go for it I don't think you have a high chance of grabbing this weapon either so overall Critical Wish really nice idea I like it of giving you more chance to get your desired reruns character as well as weapons that you haven't got as I've mentioned this specific banner wise not going to be really good but I am very interested and look forward to the future's Critical Wish banner maybe next time you know might be leeway reruns character coming here which is going to be a pretty nice chance to for you to grab those characters as well and now we move on to one of the most expected discussion in this video and yes it's going to be talking about some of the future banners yes alexino is definitely going to be in 4.6 she is confirmed to be a pyro character now in terms of which weapons she's going to be using i don't think we have much information regarding that just yet however from you know certain saying obviously not confirming any of the situation she might be a poem character and i think she being a poem character actually fits her really well you know she really do have that whole kind of character design so holding down a poem is actually gonna be pretty nice and yes since we don't really have too much information in any kind of her skill and kit just yet hopefully they just make her a very powerful character because everyone has been waiting for her for so long right even me i am skipping on Chiori just to save as many pools as i can and try to get her as well so weapon hopefully i do have that enough please hold it first 
However, guys, that's not just Alec Chino because well, yes, every single patch comes around, you know, another three rerun characters, and that's going to be 4.62 as we have only Alec Chino, the five-star character. So, who's going to be the other three rerun character? You may ask. Obviously, we don't have the information just yet. However, once again, you know, from some quote-unquote rumors, there are going to be Farina, Alhatham, and Nilu coming back. Oh, wow. That's going to be a pretty tough patch for many of us who really haven't got the characters, especially Farina or Alhatham or Nilu. You know, if it's going to be these characters, Nilu is going to be a little bit less in terms of pooling priority as well as Alhatham, you know, depending on kind of like character preference and playstyle. However, um, Farina is going to be here and she might actually be right next to Alecino. You know, if Hoyoverse actually did that, that's going to be a very, very mean way of Hoyoverse doing it. If they do that, I don't know why they actually do it because, you know, Alecino right next to Farina is going to be of a hell of a banner for many of us. Okay, so please, if it does happen, please, please don't do that. Please don't. But yeah, it's going to be very interesting to see how the rerun banner is going to come out. It's going to be a long way, guys. So just don't fret or think too much about it because we still have, you know, patch 4.5 to go through. And, you know, you have a lot of chance to save for Primo Jams, which, you know, talking about Primo Jams, I have made a dedicated Primo Jams prediction video as usual for you guys. So I'm going to talk a little bit about that right here. And well, guys, I've already made kind of like a spreadsheet, you know, calculating all the Primo Jams here for you guys. So, you know, if you want to look into it for specifically, you can do that. But overall, from my calculations, right, around 9,370 Primo Shams is what you will be getting in this patch, which is very low. And if you get a Walken, that'll be a 13k. If you get a Bell Pass, that'll be a 14k. But guys, I know that that's not a lot of Primo Shams for, you know, free to play in patch 4.5 as it is a filler patch. However, I do have a very fun tips for you to get even more primo gems than that and wow that's to join my discord server hooray now 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 please this is not advertisement for my discord server in any way but this is pure value for you okay what well, my discord server do have and hold many different kind of events every month and if you know you do join and play you have many of the chance to win you know walkins for more walkins wrapping and also i do usually do streams on youtube and i hope account reviews which is where the account review section comes in i do account reviews for you guys for free so in order for you to improve your cash in accounts and i also helps you to clear the abyss here and there as well so that you can maximize your abyss primo gems output and that you know in turn grab more primo gems for you right fair deal so if you're new here and you haven't really joined my discord server guys do so so i do stream a lot on youtube and if you're new here don't forget to subscribe to the channel as to not miss out on you know my streams and you know join our fun little supra community on discord i talk about streams guys on wednesday patch 4.5 is coming out and i will be doing stream where i help you to pull for your chiori kind of like a viewer pulling streams and have fun with us and testing out chiori as well so don't forget to join that stream too and if you are pulling for chiori and you would love to have you know kind of like some streamer luck in terms of pulling chiori for you don't forget to subscribe and dm me on discord directly where i will help you out with chiori pools so guys really appreciate you guys sticking with me to this part of the video and with that you know me and glacian here i really wish you an amazing day and i will catch you on my next video